So I'm here interviewing Robert Edsel, who is the author of Monuments Men, which as many of you know has been made into a very exciting movie, and also the author of a follow-up book, fascinating, powerful, page-turning book called Saving Italy, about saving all the treasures of Italy during World War II. Well, the Monuments Men is kind of a clunky phrase, but it's this group of middle-aged museum directors, curators, art historians, architects, artists themselves, uh, eight of whom attended the American Academy of Rome. And they volunteered during World War II to become a new kind of soldier one charged with saving rather than destroying. Uh, they realized a great risk during World War II was that with the United States entry, that in the process of trying to defeat Nazism and fascist Italy, the great risk of destroying so much of Western civilization. So it was initially an effort about preservation, trying to steer Allied bombing away from cultural targets. And, uh, and then ultimately, of course, once boots got on the ground, it became part of the greater treasure hunt in history, trying to track down uh, thousands of works of art stolen from some of the great museums in Italy. Robert Edsel, the author of Monuments Men, after being a very successful career in business, decided that life needed a change, and he took his family to Italy, where he lived for five years, uh, I think mostly in Florence. And while there, he was just curious about the whole history of World War II, the art. Uh, what happened? How was it preserved or was it preserved? How much damage was there with the bombing and the theft of the art? You know, the Nazis not only wanted to conquer the world, they wanted to conquer the art world and gather all the, the great artworks uh, for themselves. We fight today, of course. We know we, we, we are willing to do that for democracy, for freedom of speech. But the idea of doing it to preserve the cultural treasures, the patrimony really of civilization, is a worthy cause and a noble cause. And I think when we frame it in the context of, you know, my boy who's 20 running into a building to save a painting by, you know, Raphael, that sounds romantic, but it's not an equitable trade-off. If, on the other hand, he and a group of fellows are doing it, um, and now we have women also serving, to try and preserve something that's part of our background and heritage, I think that's a noble endeavor. And while we'd hate to lose anybody, I think that's something that's important. Well, thank you very much, uh, Mr. Edsel. We all know that uh, certainly Italy and the world is grateful to the Monuments Men and, uh, and the Italians uh, who saved all these art treasures and also certainly grateful to you for unearthing this story and telling it so well. So thank you. Thank you.